Oh my gosh! <gasps> They're filled with air! That's my little hoe down, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to the farm! So, today, I am taste testing the iconic Golden Corral. So if you haven't heard of Golden Corral, basically it's a buffet. All you can eat and it's sort of like American food, I guess you could call it. It's like fried chicken, pot roast, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, pizza, desserts. And typically that food is not really buffet-y, right? But it is today. And um, I didn't know that they were still open because hello, buffets and what we're going through still aren't really compatible, but I think that it's delivery only, I think. So anyways, I ordered basically the whole menu. I got everything besides the pizza. Um, I'll taste test that in the future, but I got everything else that was available. I think this might be a scaled down menu because I just remember eating there years ago and there was just like a lot more options in this, but this is what they have right now. And I got everything I could, which is still a lot of stuff. So let's talk about what I got. I got meatloaf, baked beans, mac and cheese, cheesecake, fried chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, buttered corn, yeast rolls, delicious, carrot cake, bourbon street chicken, white rice, steamed broccoli, smoked pulled pork, coleslaw, potato salad, apple pie, chocolate cake, blueberry pie, and brownies. So it's gonna be a huge taste test. Um, I haven't been to Golden Corral in years, and I've only been there like a couple times. The last time was probably six or seven years ago. It was very hot. The food was super hot. Everyone was sweaty. It was, <laughs> it was a moment. So I'm so pumped to try everything. But first, guys, a couple days ago, I cooked the most delicious meal. Here's that footage right now. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Guys, so it's six o'clock. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat dinner, and I am making HelloFresh's one pot turkey and white bean chili verde with sour cream. Oh my gosh. You guys know I love my HelloFresh. I eat it literally all the time. And of course I'm a chili stan. I love any and all kinds of chili. So I am ready to make this. But first guys, have you heard of HelloFresh? Basically it's a meal kit delivery service. You pick your meals online or on the app out of tons of meals, giant variety. And HelloFresh sends you all the ingredients and the recipes straight to your door. They're the easiest, quickest recipes ever and they always taste delicious, legit. In case you haven't noticed, it's a brand new year and I feel like getting HelloFresh is just the perfect way to start your big year because it makes life so much easier. Let me tell you, like thinking about planning out food and all that stuff, it truly stresses me out. I just literally run out of ideas and HelloFresh gets you right out of that recipe rut super quickly because all the ideas are just right there in front of you. You just have to choose which ones you want and which ones look the most delicious to you or you know which ones fit with your lifestyle. They have tons and tons of different options like calorie smart recipes, carb smart recipes, vegetarian options, pescatarian recipes. And if you do have goals for the new year, like eating healthier or being a vegetarian, HelloFresh really can help with that. HelloFresh has over 50 menu items and market items that you can choose from every single week. Also, HelloFresh has more five-star reviews than any other meal kit, any. And with HelloFresh, the produce goes from the farm to your door in under a week. So it's peak freshness. If you are a busy queen, HelloFresh has a lot of quick and easy options. Like they have 20 minute meals. And on those busy days, that just helps so much. You can also increase your servings um, if you want like leftovers for lunch the next day, that's great too. And HelloFresh is just a can't beat value, honestly, because everything is pre-portioned. So you're not wasting money on like extra sauce bottles and things like that, right? Like all the extra ingredients that we buy when we cook at the grocery store, that is non-existent. You just have the perfect amount of everything to put into your meal. That's it. So you're not wasting any excess money or food. So get some HelloFresh guys. Of course, I have a code for you. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code TIMMY16 for up to 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts. Let's cook the chili. So we have some ground turkey, an onion, a jalapeno, Southwest spice, beans, roasted tomatillo salsa verde, sour cream, flour, chicken stock concentrate, and garlic. First things first, I have to wash and dry the produce and then I have to dice the onion, mince the garlic, and mince the jalapenos. Okay, 
so now it's time to actually cook. I'm gonna heat up a drizzle of olive oil. I'm just gonna add in the onions, the jalapenos, and the garlic. I'm just gonna cook this until everything is softened. Okay, so this is amazing. Look at these like crispy brown vegetables, delicious. Now I'm gonna be adding my turkey. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add the Southwest spice. Ooh, it's gonna taste amazing. Oh, this is so good. I'm now gonna add my flour to the pot. Now I'm gonna add a cup of water and the chicken stock concentrates. And I'm also gonna add half of my salsa verde. There we go. I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper and I'm gonna add in the beans. I'm just gonna let this cook for a bit and then it will be ready to serve. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. Oh my God. So this is the finished soup. Do you see it? Let's try it guys. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my gosh. It has a tang from the salsa, like a liminess, which I adore, but there's still that classic chili flavor. Oh my God. It's somehow refreshing and warm. Just amazing. I did that. <laughs> so what are you waiting for guys? Go to hellofresh.com and use my code Timmy16 for up to 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts. Guys, check it out. Oh my God. Okay guys, so let's unbox everything from Golden Corral. Okay, so let's take a look at everything. So this, this big box here, I think these are the yeast rolls. Oh wow. I think this was like three bucks. I'm confused with so many rolls. That's amazing. They smell yeasty. I don't understand why yeast rolls are called yeast rolls. To me, that does not sound appetizing. We got the yeast. <laughs> okay, so this is the chocolate cake. It is a very small slice. Oh my goodness. But I will say that these desserts were very cheap. They were each around like a dollar something. So it is totally understandable that they're tiny. We have the two brownies. Those look really good. You guys know I have a sweet tooth. So excited for these. The apple pie. Okay. Cheesecake. Oh my God, this, guys, this is really sad. That is the saddest, tiniest slice of cheesecake I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh. It was only $2. Keep that in mind, Timmy. Um, this is the carrot cake. Now that's a pretty good slice. That looks pretty good. And the blueberry pie, which is a big slice. A little watery, but that's okay. There's like some water. Oh, there's a lot of water in there. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> now, this is the fried chicken with the mashed potatoes and gravy and the um, corn. This looks pretty delicious, honestly. We have two chocolate chip cookies in here. Wait, did I order chocolate chip cookies? Wait, we have more. Are chocolate chip cookies free with the order? If they are, that's very nice. Wait, guys, they gave me eight chocolate chip cookies. Wow, I am fine with that. This is free, so let's taste test it first. I'm hungry. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, I'm just kidding. I expected a soft cookie. Definitely not soft, but they taste like a good, crunchy, processed, store-bought cookie. I'm fine with it. They're good. I'm gonna give the cookie, hmm, I'm five out of 10. They're fine. Now, <clears throat> this is, I think, the bourbon chicken with white rice and broccoli. That looks pretty good. It smells decent, okay. By the way, guys, I know this isn't their typical buffet prices, um, on um, Uber Eats, each of these meals were around eight to nine dollars, which is not bad at all. So this is the meatloaf. Meatloaf portion is kind of small, but whoever said, I want more meatloaf, <laughs> no one. It has green beans and a mac and cheese. The green beans are looking kind of canned, which really grosses me out, but we'll see how it tastes. And then last but not least, we have, um, which one was this? Oh, so this is the smoked pulled pork. I forgot about that. So. I got it with the potato salad and the coleslaw. Um, it looks pretty good. I am half Cuban, so I know my pork. 
and it smells like nice American barbecue pork. So that's everything. I'm gonna get my thumbnail and then we're gonna eat it all. I'm gonna tell you my honest opinion on each item. That's gonna be a great time. Let's first try a dessert. Let's try the chocolate cake. See it again. I love chocolate cake so much. Cheap chocolate cake, fancy chocolate cake, any chocolate cake I love. And chocolate frosting is the only like frosting that I genuinely adore. All the other frostings I'm like meh about. So very pumped about this. Let's get some cake and some frosting. Okay. Mmm. Does it taste cheap? Yes. Does it have a rich chocolate flavor? Not really. It's kind of like a diluted chocolate flavor. Am I loving it? Yes, because it's chocolate cake. You know, I've had much better chocolate cake, much more flavor, but this is pretty moist. I will say that. And the frosting is perfect chocolate frosting. I think that the cake itself just needs more cocoa powder, more of a strong flavor. I'm trying not to eat all of it because I have so many things to try, but I want to. So um, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. Could be better, but I still liked it. Next up, let's try the bourbon chicken. It's so heavy. Like they really said, give Timmy a lot of food. Let's first try the broccoli. Here's like frozen broccoli with absolutely nothing on it. I mean, it's, it's broccoli. So how delicious is it really gonna be? It's like eating like a healthy tree, you know? It's like, it's good, it's fine, it's broccoli. I'll give it um, a six out of 10 for broccoli. Let's try the rice. That is packaged rice, that is packaged! That does not taste fresh. It tastes like one of those packets that takes 90 seconds in the microwave. It does have a slight chicken flavor, which I don't mind. It just tastes super, super processed. I'll give the rice a four out of 10. Now let's try the bourbon chicken. Hmm. Very salty. What does the inside look like? Okay. I think it's dark meat, I think. You know, it doesn't taste like a typical bourbon chicken. But I don't hate it. It kind of tastes like stuffing. <laughs> you know, there's a certain seasoning that is used in stuffing. Is it thyme? I forget which one, but it gives stuffing that signature stuffing flavor. I think that they use the same seasoning in this. So it does really taste like stuffing. Um, now the quality of the meat is fine. It's like typical dark meat. There are some little fatty pieces, but that's expected with like chicken thigh, you know? I'm gonna try it with the rice. It's not bad, it just tastes super processed, you know? So, yeah, I kinda like the bourbon chicken. Would I order it again? Probably not, but am I enjoying it right now? Yes. But like I said, it does not taste like your typical bourbon chicken that you get at like the mall, let's say, you know what I mean? Like those food court bourbon chickens. I am gonna give the chicken a 5.5 out of 10. It really is not bad. So, next up, let's try the blueberry pie, okay? So yeah, this is very watery. Um, the pie filling honestly looks like a mush, which is not appetizing at all. I can barely even spot any blueberries. It's just like a gelatinous mush. Let's try it. Oh my God, what is this? I don't have a tea. Oh my God. Mm -mm. Oh my God. Ew. Oh my god. What is that? Oh! 
That is the worst pie I've had in my entire life. Oh my God. I think it was a frozen pie and they did not cook it. So it's still like a gelatinous frozen mush in there. Like the texture was jellyish and disgusting. Not like how a blueberry pie should be. But not only that, the flavor had like a fat flavor. Like not like a fatty crust, not a flaky crust. It tasted like fat, like fat and blueberries. I am disgusted. That is horrifying. This could be one of the worst desserts I've ever had on this channel, ever. It's horrible. If you go to Golden Corral, I would suggest that you don't get the blueberry pie, in my opinion. Okay, next up, let's try the rolls. Why not? We have to cleanse our palate. They're very large. Oh my gosh. <gasps> They're filled with air. That's kind of iconic. Let's break it open. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was literally a big air pocket. See that? It looks good. Let's try it. Run. Hmm. Yeah. It's not bad. It tastes like a Hawaiian roll meets sandwich bread, like Wonder Bread. You know, there's not much more to say. That's just what it tastes like. I don't hate it. Don't love it. It's bread. I'm gonna give the rolls. I think a five out of 10. A lot of the stuff, it, oh wait, did I rate the pie, the blueberry pie? That was a zero. That was a minus one, actually. That was just the worst thing. It was a five out of 10. Next up, let's try um, the cheesecake, that tiny little tiny slice. So the texture looks very like um, grainy and the crust looks kind of raw-ish. Let's try it. Okay, look at that, okay. I like it, but that's not cheesecake. That is not cheesecake. I just think vanilla pudding. I like it. It's like a pudding pie. That is not cheesecake though. At least in my opinion, it could be. Just allegedly, you know. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. It tastes like some sort of a custard pie. I definitely don't taste any hint of cream cheese in there, nothing. It literally just tastes like pudding, like um, instant vanilla pudding. I almost finished it though. It was like two bites in my fence. But I will say it does have a cheesecake texture. So that's very nice. But the flavor is pudding. I love pudding. So lucky for me. And in terms of cheesecake, I'm giving this a one out of 10. But in terms of like pie, like custard pie, it's a nice six. <laughs> I like it. This is a mess guys. I think that I'm quickly finding out the Golden Corral is kind of like the fast food of buffets, you know? Next up, let's try another meal. Let's do um, the pulled pork meal with the potato salad and the coleslaw, okay? So coleslaw has been growing on me throughout the years. I used to hate it as a kid. Now I'm just like, okay, it's like mayonnaise and cabbage. Like <laughs> it's there. So let's try the coleslaw. That is so sad. Oh my God. Ooh, I don't like it. Mm -mm. So it started out having no flavor. It just tastes like watery cabbage. And then this sort of metallic flavor came through that I did not want to eat. I just did not, I'm sorry about that. The cabbage is very sad tasting. The mayonnaise like sauce has no flavor, no tartness no sweetness, just so bland. And then there's that metallicness. Wow, that's a no from me. Let's try the potato salad. I love potato salad, so let's see if I like this one. Mmm. Oh, I like it. It's very nice. Mmm. The potatoes are cooked perfectly. They have a tiny bit of a bite to them, but they're still soft. Um, the mayonnaise mustard ratio is perfect. It has some nice seasonings. I can taste some like pickled flavors in there. You know, it tastes like any like deli potato salad, which I love. So I'm here for this. I'm giving the potato salad, I think, a nice eight out of 10. That's the highest rated thing so far, right? Now let's try the pork. Like I said, I'm Cuban. I know my pork. I like 
that. Damn, Golden Crow is so up and down. I really like this. It is dry. I'm the type of person that doesn't really mind dry meat unless it's chicken. Chicken needs some moisture. <laughs> but it has a nice smoky flavor that doesn't taste like that fake processed smoke. Arby's has a big issue with that, like with their brisket and their ribs. Like it tastes like fake smoke. This, this tastes honestly like real smokiness. Good amount of salt. Tiny, tiny barbecue flavor in the background, but very light. Just simple. I haven't found any like fat yet. And fat is very common with pork. Mmm. I really like this. Regina. Regina. Regine. What are you doing? Stop it. Mmm. So I'm gonna give this pork, I think, an 8 out of 10. I really, really like it. I'm surprised. So. Oh, next up, let's try the apple pie. After the blueberry pie, I kind of just want to get this over with. So once again, this does look like a frozen apple pie, but it doesn't look as mushy or as watery. So I have some hope. Let's try it. I like it. It's a really cheap processed apple pie. But that's never stopped me from the <laughs> from loving something. Mm, the crust is really nice. It's definitely one of those frozen ones, I think for sure. Allegedly, I don't want to say it for sure because I don't want Golden Crock getting mad at me. But yeah, I mean, if you've had a frozen pie from the frozen aisle, it tastes just like that. That's it. The apples are a bit too crunchy for my liking, but what can you do? I mean, I'm still eating it. I should slow down, guys. I'm getting full. So. I'm gonna give the apple pie, I think, a nice seven out of 10. It's a frozen apple pie. I like it. Next up, let's try the fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and corn. This is my most hyped meal because it just looks the most delicious, right? Let's first try the corn. It tastes canned. I love corn, but not canned corn. If it's gonna be canned, it has to be in like a, it has to be in like a cornbread casserole type thing, you know? Not not by itself. I'm gonna give that corn, I think, um, a three out of 10. Mm, it was just mushy and let's try the mashed potatoes with gravy. These legitimately look delicious. I love gravy. Okay. Shockingly, the potatoes taste real. They don't taste powdered. I expected powdered mashed potatoes. I mean, based on like the blueberry pie and like some of the things I had today, but they are real, I think. I got a chunk of potato and it was delicious. And they have a pretty creamy texture. Mmm, creamy flavor, they're great. Now, the gravy's a little meh. Um, it does taste like a nice like turkey or chicken gravy, but it has like a weird aftertaste of like mushroomy which I'm not into mushrooms, but overall, I think it's pretty good, especially just the potatoes by themselves. They taste like they have like either sour cream or heavy cream in them. I like it. Great texture, great flavor. I'm gonna give the potatoes by themselves a nice eight out of 10. Um, with the gravy though, I would bump it down to a six. So now it's time to try the fried chicken. Let's get a nice close up of that. Let's break it open. Oh my God, it's kind of mushy. Ugh. <gasps> love that white meat. Oh my God, yes. I love fried chicken breasts. Oh my God, let's try it. You know, I've had worse. I've had worse. It, it definitely needs some more flavor, but It's pretty juicy, which surprised me. And the breading actually tastes good. And it tastes like it has a good seasoning blend. It just needs more of it, if that makes sense. It's a little, like the flavor is a little too calm for me. Let's try the leg. Mm, juicy once again. So yeah, it's good for a chicken. Just needs more flavor, I'm shook. Really, like Golden Crow is just putting me on a roller coaster today. So many bad items and so many pretty good items. I'm gonna give the fried chicken, I think, a nice six out of 10. 
That's good. I expected much worse. Next up, let's try the brownies. Ooh. So you do get two brownies. They feel pretty cakey and like they could just like fall apart. They don't feel fudgy, which I'm not mad at. I like all brownies. I like fudgy brownies. I like chewy brownies. I like cakey brownies. I love them all. So let's see. Okay. Do I have chocolate in my teeth? <laughs> They're good. They taste like the chocolate cake, but just a little bit richer and a teeny tiny bit more dense. But it's almost the same thing. I think it is the same frosting and that's why it's like really similar. But it doesn't really taste like a brownie. It's still delicious. It just really kind of tastes like the cake, but just a little bit better. So I'm gonna give the brownie a nice 6.5. Pretty good, not amazing, but pretty good. Okay, we have two more items, guys, and then we're done. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun. We have the meatloaf meal with the mac and cheese, and we have the carrot cake. Okay, so let's first do the salty food. So like I said, these green beans look very canned to me. And as you guys know, canned vegetables really upset me. Like frozen vegetables taste so much better. I think they have less sodium too, right? I don't know. Let's try these very pale green beans. I've not had canned green beans in so long. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh my God. So yes, they tasted totally canned, but also they have this like weird acidicness that I haven't had before. It was upsetting. It really got to me. So yeah, I'm gonna give those green beans a zero out of 10. Um, let's try the mac and cheese. Let's see. Mmm. You guys know I'm always very honest and if I like an item, I am gonna be honest. I am not trying to diss Golden Corral. It's just a lot of their items have issues in my opinion. So the mac and cheese started out really delicious. Like the first initial flavor was like, bam, cheap processed mac and cheese. I love it. I I stand, right? But then this other flavor came in and tasted like, okay, you know when your like um, dish sponge is like very like old and you have to dump it out and it smells? This had the flavor of a dirty sponge. Like after the initial good flavor. Oh, okay, let's try the meatloaf. Now, I'm very particular about meatloaf, okay? I like meatloaf when I make it, but when anyone else makes it, it disgusts me because people always add weird things to it. They add peppers, they add oats, they add just the weirdest things. I keep mine simple. Breadcrumbs, a little bit of milk, some ketchup, some mustard, and eggs, maybe some cheese, maybe some Ritz crackers. That's actually a good weird thing to add to it. So like meatloaf is just always so mysterious in that way. Like you just never know what's in it, you know? So I think that's what makes it kind of icky. Let's try this one. I'm trying guys, I'm really trying. I can't, I can't. So, oh, flavor wise, it's not the worst meatloaf ever. It tastes okay, but the texture really got to me. The texture is very soft and a meatloaf cannot be soft. And it needs to still like retain the texture of the meat. You get me? But when you add too much stuff to it and just weird things, it just turns soft. And this just tastes really processed in my opinion. Like the flavor wasn't horrible. It was very oniony, very Salisbury steaky, which I don't mind at all. But yeah, the texture really got me. So I'm gonna give this meatloaf a 1.5 out of 10. So hopefully we will end this video on a high note once I taste the carrot cake. Let's see how it is. It looks pretty good to me. A lot of visible carrot. See that? Okay, let's try it. It's not bad, it's weird. There's a lot of little crunchy things and chewy things. It might just be the texture of the carrot. I think it might be grated too, too like large and it kept a crunchy carrot texture. 
Also, there's an odd citrusy flavor, maybe orange, which I'm not used to in carrot cake at all. It's just weird. It's weird, guys. I'm so sorry. This, this was a very negative taste test, and I usually really try my best to be positive, and I was trying my best. It's just there was a lot of items here that I just did not like. So I'm going to give the carrot cake, I think, a 3 out of 10. Thank you, guys so, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of all the food. And um, let me know if you have tried Golden Corral before. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Oh, and thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I'm so grateful. Go check them out. The link is at the top of the description. I'll see you guys next video. I love you so much. Oh, 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 oh.